and Agawa's great great contribution was that that um, that he was he was able to show that that by that the deoxygenation of blood through neural activity would lead to a local change in magnetic signal that could be picked up, and he called that the blood oxygen level dependence signal, and he started uh, examining that because it became clear after that that part of the change in signal was also probably due to a small change in local volume, quite apart from the change in oxy deoxy hemoglobin ratio. There may even have been change in signal due to local water swelling or changes in cell um, water content and such like. And that's led us to a slightly curious situation where we were moving from a technique that was completely quantifiable in absolute terms, calibratable, to a situation where we now had a signal that we didn't completely understand the underlying physiology of. And so the whole issue now was to try and validate that signal in physiological terms and in terms of what Pet had told us before, which was one of the main strategic reasons why I thought we should have Pet and MR here. But in that first five years, it was very clear that that was absolutely the right assumption, absolutely the right thing, and we dropped Pet. And we got another MR camera in 99. You know, PET was finished, and we were now into the bold era. And we were into an era of relative change. So we were able to follow relative changes across time, relative changes from either some baseline condition or rest condition or default condition, whatever you like to call it, and a condition of interest, relative changes as a function of a parameter that changed, relative changes that occurred when two factors or more interacted with each other and this became an extremely rich signal but one which we still try to get information about in terms of its basic underlying uh, physiological mechanism and I suppose the piece of evidence that's been most important to us has been that of Logothetis who has been able to show in monkeys that the local change in bowl, bowl signal correlates best with what's called the local field potential, which means the aggregated activity of all the synapses in an area. <laughs>